I thought we were gonna get a training arc right after the training arc ended, but nah, it was kind of more like a uh, big bro, trash can man, gun dude. I'm gonna remember the name names later. He's like a very submissive, shy dude, but when he gets a gun, he's super sick. And then we got Kengo, who just cross dresses and always is a girl. I, I, the, the dude's supposed to be a disguise guy, but he only turns into girls. Not that I'm complaining, it's just like, god damn, he just gets me every goddamn time. Nah. I don't really know what's gonna happen now. I think we might be going to a new arc with some new enemies. Let's begin today's reaction, though. So we're gonna try to watch a sunset tonight. That dude was last episode, right? He was at the scene of the... Not, not crime, but, you know, after we bailed, you know, we freed our big bro. He was there and he killed people. So he's like enemy spies, I think. Uh, Oh, I thought he was like a spy in a different family competitor group. No, it's just a cop. Cop? We don't like cops, right? Ah, oh, shit! Or on the dark web, guys. That's the special spooky internet where you need to have like a special VPN, like Tor, to like access it. And it's like crazy shit you can do, right? I've never actually been there, have I? I don't know, but. Tayo's famous. No. Fake news. AI. I thought we have our team like covering this shit. No, 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 we were a passenger. Goriath did this. Blame Goriath. Arrest Goriath, bro, not me. This guy's been fucking stalking. Bro has been locked in. He has been watching this show since like episode one with us. God of Juvenile Crime. We already have a title. What? But like, the rest of our team, our family, they're covered. But it's only Tayo that's like wide open. Why? Intentionally? Bro has no poker face. You can't just go <gasps> when he asks you something like that. It's sounding like we got sold out. Like, why the fuck is there info about us but not everyone else? I don't know. Is this all part of a plan? Is this a test? Is Big Brother Kyochiro doing something? <laughs> you have some water. Give it a good drink. And I'm not even going to be discreet about this. Take some suspicious white powder I'm going to mix in too. Do you think I'm going to drink that shit? Bro! What the fuck is this cop? Is this a quirk? Like, is a special thing? Is like, he's very, like, on top of his job, but, you know, sometimes he just does shit so blatantly in front of you, and that's, like, the joke. No, <laughs> 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 oh, Sha, you're just allowed to do that! You, 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 you can't just do this in interrogation. Water catcher throat balloon. <laughs> It's like a condom. He had a condom inside his mouth. <laughs> Who tied up this shit? How did he tie the fucking the knot of the fucking balloon? Bro, that's insane. That's insane. Where is he? Underneath? Oh, dude, that's a fucking hammer. Okay, this cop is insane. This, I I don't know how to feel about it. He drugs us, hits us with the hammer almost. I brought him to justice. Very extreme guy. But his mentality is like, yeah, obviously, if that's a fucking drug dealer that's causing thousands of lives to be ruined, then it's like him dying, him like hitting him with the hammer, putting in the body bag. Probably deserved, but at the same time, he's like, takes law as an opportunity to just go extreme on those who break it without any nuance and it's just like i don't give a fuck if you are on the right, wrong side of the law i will just like destroy you you're gonna drug them too <laughs> wire big bro kyochiro big bro wire big bro right big bro big bro I would never wrap my family out. Big bro probably testing us a little bit? I don't know. Is he around with the strings? That's crazy. He's just fucking hitting with the hammer. Oh! Bro's fucking 
<laughs> this thing with the paper fucking cup. Oh, it's a called paper cup telephone, right? So if you have like a wire, you can hear each other. But all right, he was ready. He was fucking ready the entire time. Do they know each other? Seiji, liar. He's not a cop? Fake cop? A cop that works with us? Seems like this is just another test set up by them to see how loyal Tayo is. Are we friends? Okay, okay, okay. They're fucking childhood friends. Get your hands off me. You'll give me a rash. Even with the gloves on? So, okay, he is an actual cop and we do help him, but he's like our insider, right? So he just like covers everything. He's the person that's like deleting all the logs and making sure that our family activities are just like undercover. To a mission? Is this a new mission we're talking about? No snitching. Alright! Did he smile? Is that a smile? Okay! No, 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 look, look, look. this is his resting face. This is smile, which is just... But it's, it's better in frown though. But this is a smile. Let Tayo handle it. What are we gonna do about this wall though? Is this actually in the cop place? I like him. I think he's a pretty interesting character. Got set up by your big bro again. Right, I forgot that he's a fucking vice principal here. Alright. If you fall asleep in class when big bro Kyochiro is running it, because <laughs> that's the thing they do in like Japanese high school. I don't know if they still do it, but it's like if you fall asleep, they'll throw like a fucking eraser or like a chalk at you. That was fucking frame perfect. The moment that his eyelids closed, the chalk was already there. Even cutting his hair off. Oh. That's physically impossible. A chalk with that much friction would rather just melt itself rather than blow through a fucking metal hole. But then again, what are we talking about physics for in an anime? So you want me to turn half my brain off so I'm resting and the other half on so I'm still awake so that I can control my sleep patterns. I wish I could do that. That sounds fucking insane, but like, we can't do that. No, that's cap. Yeah, and look what happened to you. You're fucking insane. Because your brain is so fucked up from no sleep. No, don't try to do this shit in real life. In an anime, you can do this. Like, having no sleep, like, dude, sleep deprivation actually just causes irreversible brain damage. Do not fuck around and try to do all nighters over and over when you start to get older. Like, you need sleep. If you don't have sleep, if you think, like, if you watch a random YouTube video, it's like, yo, there's these sleep patterns where you only need to, like, nap 30 minutes every four hours and, like, you're good to go. You don't need full sleep. Nah. Nah, dude. That's how you get fucking autoimmune, di autoimmune diseases. Do not try that. Abandon this humanity. You can use the threads to analyze his heart rate. Even though the threads are outside, what the fuck? It's pretty much kunai knives. Mutsumi can talk to three. <laughs> Morse code? Yeah, we can. Okay, she's 17. What are the students thinking right now when everyone's just going like. We just, we just going like this. We just, what are, the, what are they thinking? What, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Gobble you up? What does that mean? Okay, he's gonna learn how to graduate from full sleep. Chalk bomb. Already gas master up. The entire school students. I feel bad for the kids to go, go to the school. Oh, I thought that big bro put it on her immediately. That was all Mutsumi. 
You just fucking popped the gas mask. Did, did you just shoot the fucking chalk with the gun? What the fuck is happening in this class right now, bro? Did he, did he, so Big Bro just threw his fucking chalk kunai knives again. And then we just countered it with the fucking electric bullet that we have. What? He just fucking casually is shooting his gun to a fucking teacher who's our vice principal at the school. And he's asleep while his teacher tries to kill him while everyone else is sleepy. Because the teacher drugged them with a sleep bomb. Like, 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 yeah, I get it because this is Shonen Jump. It's supposed to be like a funny, like, cute little spy world. But it, just like think about what's actually happening right now. Just think about what's actually happening, you'll realize how ridiculous this is. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing this while sleeping. <laughs> Surprise, there's no one getting hurt right now in the classroom. Imagine a single bullet that gets deflected and someone gets injured. You know what? This is true. Beyond just like a comical moment. Like, he was just a regular human just like two episodes ago. And then he brute force the training. And now he's getting better and better. And now he's actually dueling fucking half asleep with the gun against Kyochiro. That's kind of insane, right? He pretty much is a superhuman now. He's sleepwalking now. Sleepwalking Taiyo. Is he just going to be always doing this? You're right. The earlier stuff today. Ferris wheel. Date. Sunset. How many people are even in spy marriages? What the fuck is this magazine? It's so niche. Looks like a grocery magazine. Like a magazine that you would find in a grocery store that gives you bullshit fucking drama news like that. Dato. Dato. No, no work. No work. Seiji. Hang up on him and hang out with Mutsumi instead. This is already turning into like a classic marriage that's like falling apart. I don't know. This is already... I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But like... <laughs> fucking like 15 year old kids. I mean, I know she's like 17. Tayo's 17 too. Anyways, high school kids married. It's like, sorry. Can't hang out today. Got work. Big boss is calling. Lonely housewife uh, Mutsumi. No, no, no. This is perfect. We should, we should bring Mutsumi here. There's a guy and a girl with illicit guns. Take him out. They don't, he doesn't know who the couple even looks like? What the fuck? What's up? Are we uh, suspicious? Because like Tayo has a gun. This is a man and a girl both with illicit guns. Is Seiki intentionally doing this so that we can go on a date? Or is there an actual target? Okay. What if we are the couple? Bald? Okay, yeah, yeah. This... These dudes look comically fucking bad. <laughs> it's... No, they're probably super nice. What the fuck is going on the left side? The first two couples would look like the biker gang gangsters. The left side, they're like, I don't know. They look like fucking bodyguards, secret service. Sure. Unless... But that'd be an indirect kiss. Oh, but we're married, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, what the fuck am I kidding? Yes, Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm glad you're fucking happy together, but yeah, yeah, nothing is in public. Yeah. <laughs> we got fucking. Oh, they have a Kencha Moti fucking into the hoodie, dude. The hoodie has their fucking couple names on the back. She can do it. There it is. <laughs> Nah, leave them alone. They, they're probably normal. Anytime an anime has like, you know, biker gang delinquents like that, they've always been so normal. <laughs> the front couple doesn't look very happy. They just like, whatever. I think the guy on the left is scared of the roller coaster. And why the fuck are we here with Ken and Mochi? I feel like we're fucking like third wheeling somehow, even though we were also a couple. 
<laughs> okay, the girl loves it, but the guy can't handle it even though he looks so scary with all the piercings and the mohawk. <laughs> What's he like, say? Tayo is just asleep. What the fuck? Bros fell asleep in the roller coaster? What if Ken Ken and Mochi is the illicit couple with Tayo? They, they're the couple with the illicit guns. That would be crazy. Yo. Yo. I want them to be the one with the guns. That would be fucking hilarious. あれくらいの揺れが気持ちよくなっちゃって。いいのいいの気にしないで。ごめん、実は俺絶叫系苦手で。大丈夫、気にしないで。Something <laughs> <laughs> we're just involved in the wrong com between these two couples. What the fuck is the special soundtrack? Okay。これ飲んで。Better couple than Ken Ken and Mochi, bro. Oh, they touched the fingers. <laughs> This is actually peak. <laughs> Random biker king dealing with couples just <laughs> so ooh and shy. Dame ga kowai dake datta na. Sugi wa ano couple ne. The secret service. <laughs> what the fuck are we all with Ken Ken and Mochi, bro? <laughs> There's no centrifugal force. You know what that is? When you're spinning in a circle, there's a force being applied that's always going into the middle of the um, the circular rotation. That's what a centrifugal force is, I think, right? Every time there's like a velocity tangent in each in a turn you do, but every time it's always directing into the middle of the circle. That's a centrifugal. Anyways, <laughs> bro, all right, you got fucking Mr. Physicist here. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so muscle couple, very in love, right? So this is like, they're already like, been dating for a while. They're just like completely in love. And then the other couple, you know, the earlier delinquent, you know, biker gang one, they're like very new into their date, right? It's like their first date. Very lovey-dovey. No, secret servant. Nah, they're normal too. Nah, nah, nah. It's gotta be Ken-chan and Mochi. They got the guns, bro. Nah, nah, nah. The secret service agent, nah, they gotta be normal. Hi, Mochi. Nah, fuck, fuck, Mochi and Ken, dude. Okay, let's find out. Hmm. Got baited by the fucking marketing. Now he's gonna spend money for it. Hmm. Just drinking tea, like. Seems like a very quiet couple, yeah. Can you show me something? Hmm. A gun? What is it? No, no, no. We're getting baited. It's not. It's not. It's not. Nope. Crazy how Tai just always walks around with this fucking gun, bro. I understand he's from like an elite spy family now, but like, bro is just always in school, he'll fucking pull out the gun. <laughs> just in a theme park, bro just pulls out the gun. Oh, it's a ring! Are oh, they getting engaged? <laughs> They're just so professional, no emotion. Would you like to get married? Accepted. Okay. Ken and Mochi, dude. You gotta give her that on the Ferris wheel at the top while the sunset's going down. Oh! Oh! The real voice comes out from Mochi. She was going all, ooh, 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 ooh. I love you, kitchen. What, what's going on now? Wait, 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 wait. Ken chan looking at the fucking server? So they're not a lovey dovey couple. Ugly face! Oh, <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Dude! The gun says Ken Ken on it! <laughs> Even the gun says fucking Ken 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 Square like the hoodie bro! <laughs> Here's the illicit. Multi! They got the same couple! Even the guns they got are couple bro. <laughs> Jesus! What the fuck? Yo, this is so dangerous! Oh, not the bear and the flower! We were gonna give the mood to me! Ah, oh, this fucking bear! Now nah, you've done it. That was for Mutsumi, man. Okay, what the fuck is this? This is not Blue Archive. Wait, 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 where's the bullets going? You're shooting everywhere like a fucking... What is this? A fucking Uzi? Fucking auto semi-automatic... Ooh. It's fine. We can just shoot people and they'll all be fine. No one died. 
No one fucking died, bro. <laughs> That's the thing about like Shonen Jump and like guns being involved. They just no one fucking died, bro. They're gonna have some, they're gonna serve a couple sentences together now. The bear. <laughs> the sense is tapping though for us. Our Ferris wheel though. <laughs> bro didn't even fucking help. Uh, that was a, that was the actual smile though, huh? Yeah, this time it was an actual smile. Bro, I thought he was gonna do fucking intel for us and tell us who the fucking couple was. <laughs> <laughs> Big bro Kiyotsudo molding. <laughs> Here we go, sunset time. Ferris wheel and flower. Wait, what has she got in that bag? Okay, for the family. I thought it was like specific Kayo. Sunset, because couples that, you know, watch the sunset and the Ferris feel like this, exactly. <laughs> Is that a death flag? No, it's not, right? Is that a flag, right? No way. Oh, the flower? You got another one? Thematically makes sense for us, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, Mutsumi blush! Yeah, quite romantic, the Riz Tayo! Rose. <laughs> fucking rich. And that's the episode. That was a, such a wholesome episode, man. Today's episode was actually peak rom-com. The first stuff, you know, with Seiji was kind of sussy. It was like, what the fuck is going on? This cop just straight up just drugging us in front of us, making us chug this. But it was all a test because he's like a childhood friend with big bro Kyochiro just to see how loyal, you know, Tayo really is. So we met a new character that's going to be part of our team. He's like a undercover... I guess he's an undercover cop. He's an informant. He just goes in there and just kind of covers for us. The other stuff with Tayo being able to, you know, sleepwalk and fight half asleep. Fucking insane. And then the rest of the episode was actually peak rom-com, man. This shit was actually funny. Having all these other couples that you wouldn't think that might be the suspect, but it's like, no, the first biker, no, the first fucking biker gang couple, they're like a new couple. And they're like all awkward and going, ooh, ooh, as soon as they fucking touch the finger on the cup, you know? <laughs> they were like, oh my god! And the entire time you have Ken Ken and fucking Moti, dude. Holy shit, they were fucking adoptions, but kind of obvious that they would be, you know, the actual suspect. This couple, what the fuck was this couple, bro? They were like so professional. It's like, hmm, would you like to get married? Accepted. And the guns, bro, in this show, no one fucking dies. The bullets are just like unconsequential. I mean, you can't just have a fucking, like the vibes would be ruined if like, you know, I had a massacre in the Ferris, in the uh, amusement park, right? So I started to realize that the injuries, the guns, the bullet, it doesn't really mean too much in this show because it is shown and jump at the end of the day. But hey, the rom-com was actually peak today's episode, but that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care